Hey Clashers, back with my rank 1 push project where the strategy has not really changed but the equipment for the heroes has changed a little bit. Which means for the Barbarian King we're not doing any changes. The epic equipment and the rage vial is just an awesome combination I do not want to change. The same thing with the queen charge. It's literally the best combination right now you could possibly do with queen charges in general. But the Warden has changed. Instead of using the Rage Gem, I'm using the Healing Tome now. The reason for that is pretty simple. I have done a couple of tests, I have heard feedback from you guys and I have to say the Healing Gem is working way, way better for me. I have seen a lot of pros using the Rage Gem, that's why I have personally switched. I have had the Healing Tome since the beginning, but I thought, well, when all of those pros are using the Rage Gem, I have to use it as well. Well, it didn't work that great for me. Let me know what you prefer on your Queen Charges with the Warden. But for me, I will go with the Healing Tome and I will go right into some attacks. So let me show you why I think it's better. Okay, we're starting with a core Town Hall base. How do we charge this? That's the big question now. Um... We could possibly blimp the monolith already if we want to. We could charge him from the far right side. That's a lot of good options, but I'm not 100% sure which one I like the most. Maybe I just go in from this far right side and then just go for the charge for the for the motion front. I think I like that the most. Let's give it a try. So just like that, we have to make sure that we're putting the healers really far on the right side because of the air defense. And then we have to make sure that we're getting this out of the way. So the queen is going to guaranteed walk into the base. We can use one Bay Dragon right here. Rage, just like that. Let's freeze that just to be safe so we're not losing any potential power early on. That wall break looks really solid for us. And then we can hopefully get the tunnel. That's the idea. That's what I'm hoping for right now, but I'm not sure if we will make it all the way there. One headhunter for the defending king. Can we, okay, we got at least the slow. Now the king to push the queen even further inside. We can already start at the chop set as well. And this hopefully now pushes the queen towards the town hall in just a second. Queen ability. Prentice Warden. Tinky Goblin. Wizard. Wait a second. Wait a second. Guys, what are you, what are you doing? Where are you guys going? Okay, okay. Still, still alright, still alright. We have the healers now switching so we can... Rage the healing, which is appreciated. And then the warden is just a second. And this now, like with chaos like this going on, this is such a big game changer for the um, warden ability. Because the healing tone, in my opinion, is just so much more worth it compared to anything else um, of the other options. Rage, bonus HP, whatever you want to name it. Let's just tank that. Royal champ keep going at the top side let's add another wizard the monolith should go down really soon and even though things were not looking that good in the beginning um i would argue with the queen walking the wrong direction why is that defending queen still alive that is not optimal for us whatsoever but the 800 is there uh finally but this is still going to be a three star because the healing zone is just so much better in my opinion um but yeah let me know what you think about that one i mean I will give you like 100% like this would have not worked with the Rage Tome. Not even close could have this worked. I mean, it's crazy how much power you, how much more power you have uh, with things going wrong, with the Root Riders going through the town or poison and so on. But I take this three star. Let's move on to the next attack and see what we can do there. Well, this time another ring base, but it has even a bigger core. So we would try to take advantage of that with using a one walk instead of the queen charge. And this is one of the only strategies which you can technically change the strategy or the approach during the 30 seconds of, well, planning and legends. This is normally not something you could do um, with any other strategy. So let's do that. So first off, scout if there's any traps, then the flinger, then the wall break for the flinger. The next thing is the Warden Walk. The cool thing about this is with the Rage Tome, you need to delay that Warden quite a bit because, well, otherwise you will be way too quick with your Warden Walk. Instead, with now using the Healing Gem or the Healing Tome more likely, it's way more relaxing because you don't really need that much of um, power on your Warden when it comes down to DPS and um, the combination of those two things right now together. Another thing I want to highlight is 
the king bug. I have mentioned this many times, but apparently there are still many questions about it. So I will try to explain it really briefly. What exactly is the king bug? When you activate the uh, warden ability and the king is inside the warden ability at any point and you have the epic equipment selected, well, this means that um, you will get a lot of power, more like you will become invincible with using this. Let me first off quickly get all of this done. We have to freeze there. Otherwise, things should look all right. Let's do two of those, raise everything up. And then we're going to try to get the combination of the warden ability and obviously then the uh, the king ability later. The king now was inside that warn ability. It doesn't matter when it was. It only matters that this happened at some point. And then when you reactivate the king um, with his ability, instead of having like a 60 or something damage reduction, this is turning into a 100 damage reduction. So the warden is kind of overtaking. Take a look at the damage. Use the king ability. No damage anymore. This is supposed to be right now based on the level which I have the equipment upgraded. This is supposed to be something like 40, 50 percent, something like that. And take a look at this. He's taking down the entire base because of that. It is crazy. And this apparently, or it seems like that, they, they can't fix that in the maintenance. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure they would have done it already because this is such a game-breaking bug. It's literally a bug which is just... <laughs> which is crushing bases. I mean, take a look at that. Because of that, we can now swag a ton of spells. And it's it's mind-blowing. On top of that, the healing tome is just so much better versus those stacked bases because it's actually giving you recovery. The rage gem, well, you, you have four rages or five rages to play inside the middle of the base anyways. Why would you use the rage gem? So overall, the rage gem, in my opinion, is just way weaker. Now let me quickly deploy the cleanup so we don't have time failing while I'm just already trash talking the base. But yeah, this is going to be um, kind of obvious that this is going to work quite consistently on this base. And I mean, what should I say about that? Just this fact makes the king ability from god tier to what is above that? I don't know, but it's crazy and i hope that they're going to fix that because this is not how it's supposed to be let's move on though to the next attack in this one we have another ring base and this is by the way the base we just attacked was a star space and this one is another star base which is defending crazy for him i don't i don't know why but let me just show you how you can attack this base as well with this strategy and again you don't need any complicated queen charges whatsoever it is it is quite uh, funny to say the least. Now we're going to have a flinger on one side and we have the warden walk on the other. That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's have the warden walk on the top side because that's where the mortar is. Then we use this one like that. Already nice to go. Now we have the healers with the warden. And the warden is supposed to take down this air defense. As soon as that, that air defense is gone, we can start again with our... At this point it's like a smash to be honest. Like it's... Not super bonus, but instead with root riders. Um, and this is how you approach those ring bases. So if you're getting lazy and you're saying, I mean, come on, who is supposed to charge all of this, right? You just smash it. It's just no problem whatsoever. Now, let's get this done. Let's use this one right here. We got the air defense out. So we can start our push from this side. The important thing now is freeze the expos, which are on your, um, which is on your warden. Which is super crucial, because what this does is that allows your healers to switch. Now we have to be careful. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. But the healing tome, thank goodness, is here. And it should recover pretty much everything. As well, we have the warden inside that ability. And that should give us a nice additional boost as well. Let's rage it up yet again. Let's freeze the ice golems behind the town hall so we can take down the town hall before the ice golems are actually being annoying. At this point, I'm not about like to swag another... 10,000 whatever it's more about like getting the three star and that's more important for me right now so let's just get everything going we have another race still and we still have i call it just the cheater king ability because take a look at that as soon as that king is going to get to the back end we're going to use that ability and he is going to take down the entire rest of the space take a look at that and go i can relax nothing to do and I really hope that they're going to fix this. It's, it's, it's so stupid. And the reason why I'm like trying to bring this, like why I'm showing this kind of often is I'm really trying to make sure that Supercell knows guaranteed about this because it is this is not how it's supposed to be, guys. This is not how it's supposed to be. And by now, that's... Well, let me... It's... 
I don't even know what I should say at this point about it. It's, it's kind of crazy, but hey. For now, it's in the game, which means hopefully it's going to be removed with the within a future update. But let's move on to the next phase and let's see if we find another star space. Which are defending crazy for him, apparently. Okay, Dark Star. Well, how do we approach this wonderful looking base? We have a really heavy town hall compartment. Which should be hopefully alright, but I think I will just charge him from the bottom side. I think I will blimp this and then we can start with our root riders from the far left side because we have created the pathing and everything. So let's do exactly that. So, starting right here. Like that. Blimp. Dodge the sweeper. Rage it up. I just want to make sure I'm creating that pathing and really getting everything which I'm needing for that compartment. And so far... Looks like I should get exactly that. Now some CP goblins. Trying to see where my queen is heading. So we can deploy the heaters next. The storage is down. Let's deploy some test loons. Okay, that loon is going somewhere different. Has different plans or some. Well, actually it would take down the bomb tower, which is uh, appreciated. But now if there's any traps right there, that would be bad news for us. Baby dragon right here. Rage. I think we can just freeze that once. Then we should be alright. Hopefully the town hall is going to go down like that. We ha might have to turn things invisible as soon as we're going for the... Uh, as soon as we're going for the clan car. So that might be the go timing to turn things invisible on the far right side. But for that, we have to wait until that is happening. Or do we? Now, nah, multitasking will somehow work. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, now. We're just starting now. Everything in here. Queen's on the town hall. Let's freeze that. There's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. We do not get the king ability in the warn ability. Not. Ooh, that NATO trap. I appreciate that. The NATO trap is pushing us around the outside again. Uh, Warn ability now. Queen. Can you survive, please? <sighs> yes, she can survive, at least for a couple of seconds. That's nice, that's nice. Come on. Archer, Archer. Okay. Head hunters for the... Ooh, defending royal champion is a little bit... That was a bit early, if I'm completely honest. But hey, we make that work. That was a bit... Can the Adonis run through? Come on, come on. At least shoot once. Elush yes, yes, yes. Okay, at least they shot once. That's that's appreciated. That's nice. How do we take down the wizard tower? Can we do some damage like that? And then wizard with minions, something. 30 seconds. I think that might be a time fail, guys. I think that might be a time fail. Um, When and where should we use the royal champ ability? One, two, three, four. As soon as that bomb tower is going down, we're going to use it. As soon as that bomb tower is going down, right now. Okay, okay. Four, 14 seconds. Ooh. Is this going to be a time fail? Yes, no, maybe. I think it is going to be a time fail. No way. I was trying to start early, but I was paying attention to my queen so bad. It's going to be a time fail in the end. No way. But hey, it's fine. Dark Star <laughs> getting the defense. Um, but overall, so today, let's take a look at where we are at right now, trophy-wise. And we're done with all of our attacks. Overall, only one fail, which is a quite nice defense. Let's not talk about that one. Let's ignore that. Let's take a look at where we are at right now in the Lila boards right now on rank one. Um, obviously, since I have still a couple of defenses, I will uh, drop down maybe a couple of spots. In Germany, I'm still rank one and I will keep that most likely. And well, overall, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya. And bye-bye.